Well, we've got some early news today with the Detroit Red Wings, and it turns out Steve Eiserman is making business happen. Take a look at this, published by Chris Johnston just about a few minutes ago-ish, something like that. The Red Wings have placed Nolan Stevens on unconditional waivers, and they'll have his contract terminated. Now, the first reply from Montreal Design goes out there and says, the Conor McGregor quote, who is that guy? Well, let's go out there and talk about who is that guy. Nolan Stevens, if you take a look at his profile, he has played mostly in the AHL his entire career. He was signed by the Red Wings last year in July of 2023 as a free agent acquisition. And long story short, I mean, he's 27 years old, 6'3", 190, left-handed center, pretty big dude. And he has only been on contract for a year with Detroit. So this is the one and only season that he has been participating with Steve Eiserman and his project, and within the Red Wings organization, he had 31 games played with Grand Rapids, 11 points, 3 goals, 8 assists, and was a plus 9. Now, you could see that this was a pretty significant decline, you could say, compared to prior seasons in the AHL. Last year, he had 33 points in 48 games played with Utica. The year before that, he was kind of bouncing up and down, had 19 points in 53 games played split between two AHL teams. And then in 2019-20, his career high of 31 points in 50 games was accomplished with the San Antonio Rampage. He was an NCAA captain for Northeastern, 40-point guy over there, so point-per-game player in multiple seasons, actually, with the Huskies. But there's kind of a reason why Nolan Stevens, of all people, is getting placed on unconditional waivers and is getting terminated. If you go over to his contract, he's making a pretty significant amount, honestly. Like, the AAV is 775000 but that's the NHL salary. His AHL salary is actually $150,000 if we slide everything over here. So he was making a pretty beefy amount of money in the American Hockey League. But if you take a look at just the deployment and the numbers, Nolan Stevens is a guy that really wasn't given too much of a chance with this team to prove that he was worth anything more. If you go over to the Grand Rapids Griffins and their Twitter account, these are the forward lines for their most recent game. You can see that Nolan Stevens isn't even on the team. If you go over to the game before this, Stevens was a third-line center with Zach Aston, Reese, and Shine playing behind Marco Casper and Zarnik. If you go over to the even further game, Nolan Stevens was a fourth-line center. The game before that, he wasn't even in the lineup. The game before that, he was on the fourth line once more. So... Sure, you could say that he's playing with some guys that have NHL projectability, like Soderblom, for some reason, is playing on the fourth line some nights in the AHL, but you also have other prospects that are up in there and having significant seasons and profiles that we need to be paying attention to as well, like Cross Hannes, who was playing with Stevens on the fourth line, Amadeus Lombardi, who was playing above Stevens some nights, and then of course, Marco Casper, Berggren, Carter Mazur. There are some guys here that make sense for them to be placed high up in the lineup because you're looking for development. That's what the process of being in the AHL actually means in the first place. So, for Nolan Stevens, because he doesn't really have too much NHL potential, quote-unquote, because he's just being tossed around there in the bottom of the Griffins lineup, I guess he was fed up with that, which is why the Wings went out there and decided to place him on unconditional waivers with contract termination in mind. It's rare to see an NHL team going out there and doing that for a guy who is, like, you know okay and complacent with his spot in the lineup, there normally is some sort of a mutual agreement where the player is like, yeah, I would prefer to not be here, I'd prefer a different situation, which normally results in contract termination. So, I have a hard time believing this is Stevie Y going out there and just trying to sabotage a guy's career, but if Nolan Stevens himself is saying, yeah, I kind of want a better opportunity, I want to go to a different AHL team, or I want to go to Europe or something, a team where I could be used more and not be placed on the fourth line scratched fourth line rotating around in that position for most of the year so for Nolan Stevens he's gonna be gone from the Wings organization I'm not really too sure if he was a fan favorite or not but 
He is a pretty big center, and he has had significant AHL experience over the past seven years or so. What is that? One, two, three, four, five, six, yeah, six-ish years for Nolan Stevens in the AHL after his NCAA tenure. So that's the news update, I guess. And because we're on the topic, I guess we could also use this as an opportunity to talk about some of those other Red Wings prospects because Stevens, I mean, he's down there at 15th on the team in scoring with 31 games played. So you could definitely see that he wasn't really like the best player, not really the most utilized player either, considering his status in the lineup. But everybody else, I mean, they've been playing pretty all right too. Jonathan Berggren is, of course, over a point per game because why wouldn't he be? Simon Edvinson is at 24 points and 39 games played. Mazur, Zarnik, and Marco Casper all at 22 points. Excuse me, Taro Hirose is there at that number as well. Tim Gettinger is getting production, shines over here. Elmer Soderblom, despite the fact that he's on the fourth line some nights, still has 18 points and 38 games played. Especially considering the fact that Soderblom had significant NHL time a few seasons ago, it is pretty interesting. I mean, he was a 20-point guy, or excuse me, 20-game guy for the Red Wings last season, so interesting to see his development go the ways that it has. But his center is now gone from the NHL and the Grand Rapids Griffin system as a whole, as Nolan Stevens has been placed on unconditional waivers for the purpose of contract termination. So let me know your thoughts in the comment section below. What is Steve Eiserman doing here? What do you think the extra roster spot is going to be used for? Is this a move where the Wings free up a contract and they use it to maybe get some extra guys or get a guy who is kind of dead cap, maybe help out some other team and get an extra asset out of that, maybe get a first... There are a lot of options here. What do you think is going to happen with the Red Wings? What do you think Steve Eiserman has up his tricky sleeve over here? I guess because we are on the topic and I got to get this video out to eight minutes to get the max ad revenue, we can talk a little bit about that because if you go over to the Wings and you see their entire salary cap system. I mean, there are a few extra roster spots that you could go out there and use. They've got 47 contracts out of 50. So if you take away one for Nolan Stevens, because I assume it's going to be here. Yeah, if we scroll down, Nolan Stevens. Yeah, it's right here. So if you take away the Stevens contract, that number goes down to 47. There's a lot of options that Steve Eiserman has at his fingertips if you consider this as the status of the team heading into the trade deadline period. If the Wings want to capitalize on some other team that's got a bad player or a bad contract and who's on an expiring deal, maybe this could work out. So I have a hard time believing Steve Eiserman is going to make some sort of a move like this and not have a plan to utilize that extra roster spot or even any of the other extra roster spots, because there are options that the Wings could have here. So let me know your thoughts in the comment section below if there are any like older players bad players you think the Wings could go out there and accomplish a trade with that actually would make sense. But for Steve Eiserman, this seems to be the opening news for the Wings tonight. It is the Nolan Stevens contract terminated. So let me know your thoughts in the comment section below. If you're a Grand Rapids Griffins fan, a Detroit Red Wings fan, what are your thoughts on this transaction here? Early hour move on Super Bowl Sunday. Thoughts in the comment section below. I hope you enjoyed this video. And... Bye.